Welcome back everyone and today I'm here with Ross Benjamin from rbwins.com. And Ross, today is our third video covering NFL preseason betting. Can you share with our viewers what the theme is going to surround today's article? Well, the major focus of this article revolves around NFL teams' unofficial dress rehearsal game during the preseason. For the most part, head coaches have traditionally used their next to last game of the preseason for that purpose. There are some exceptions to the rule, and I alluded to this in an earlier video in an interview with you, Dax, that Jeff Fisher, for example, he uses his last preseason game as a head coach before that NFL preseason tune-up. Uh, he did that in his 15 years with the Titans. He's done that with the Rams. But he's pretty much the exception to the rule in that case. Now, Ross, I know that you have a sound and solid betting system when it comes to away favorites playing in their preseason dress rehearsal game, if you will. So could you enlighten me and our viewers also and elaborate a little bit on why you think that these systems have sustained over the test of time? Well, specifically, away favorites in game three of the preseason have gone a very good 52 and 33 against the spread at 61.2% since 1983. The numbers just don't lie, Dex. And if that away favorite is a favorite of five or less and they're coming off a straight up loss in their previous game, they improved to 24 and nine ATS at 72.7% since 1983. Look at the odds makers know that these teams treat this game as close to a regular season game as you're gonna get. Sticking with the theme of respecting the odds makers' ability to set a line with the utmost accuracy they clearly feel. The away team in this situation isn't only superior, but also possesses the best intangible and miscellaneous edges. For lack of a better phrase, the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> right. And finally, Ross, yesterday you spoke about how teams played in their Hall of Fame game and how they have done in the following contest. How does that differ, if it does at all, from their, you know, dress rehearsal contest? Well, I mean, let's look at this. I mean, 30 to 32 teams play their dress rehearsal game for the most part in their third game of the preseason. Now, teams that played in the Hall of Fame game, their fourth game of the preseason is their next to last game. Now, for whatever reason, and I have some ideology as to why this happens, in their dress rehearsal games, the teams that participated in the Hall of Fame games have gone a miserable 57 and 81 ATS. That's only 41.3% since 1983. And if those teams are playing on the road in that situation, get this, Dex, they fall to 10 and 30 against the spread. That's 25%. And they've only won eight of those 40 games outright since 1993. Here's what I think. These two clubs have had to report to training camp a week or more before the rest of the NFL teams. As a result, the rigors of training camp and having to travel to play this late in the preseason has clearly taken a toll on these teams. And that's what I attribute to these uh, terrible ATS numbers in this situation for the teams that participated in the game in Canton. All right, Ross, I'm loving it, man. And I can't wait for the season to start so I can start testing out your methods. Um, but anyways, thank you very much for being here. And I liked all the insight and I hope to have you back very soon. Thank you. And I look forward to it, Dax. Appreciate it. Sportsbookreview.com. This is Dax Floyd.